maybe they said it from the back. Yep. Oh, oh, what time shall I set it for? Oh, look, it, it's almost th uh, 3 o'clock. Set it for 3 o'clock. One and two. I used to crawl around in when I was very little. <laughs> oh. Well, Herman, yeah, we might as well say goodbye to our short-lived prosperity. Uh, uh, goodbye, short-lived prosperity. <laughs> well, that was easy enough. All we have to do is go home and... Grandpa, did you hear door slam? Yes, I did hear door slam. <laughs> Was it a back door? No, it wasn't a back door. Was it a side door? No, it wasn't a side door. <laughs> what kind of door was it? It, it was, was the, the only, only door. door. <laughs> Herman, we're locked in. Herman, we're trapped. Herman, we're hermetically sealed in here. Herman, these walls are made of solid steel. Herman, we may never get out of here. Herman, don't you understand? We may never get out of here. Well, it'll teach us a darn good lesson to be more careful next time. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Marilyn? Marilyn? Oh, yes, Aunt Lily? Oh, I hate to disturb you, dear, but have you seen your Uncle Herman? He's gone. Oh, well, maybe he's in with Grandpa. No, I've already checked Grandpa's room. His slab hasn't even been slept on. <laughs> you suppose that maybe they might have gone on one of their strolls through the cemetery? They just might have. Herman was so worried about that money that he was having trouble getting to sleep. I'm afraid I wasn't very sympathetic. Oh, I'm sure that's where they are, Aunt Lily. And you know, if there's one thing those two really dig, it's graveyards. <laughs> Grandpa, we've just got to find a way to get out of here. Grandpa? Grandpa? Grandpa! <laughs> Grandpa, we've got to find a way to get out of here. You're right. We've just got to keep looking. In that way, we might just be able to... Herman, look! For emergency use only. Grandpa, look! The telephone! <laughs> I'll just call the police department, tell them we're locked in, they'll come get us, and we'll be out in no time. <laughs> Operator? Get me the police department. Which precinct, please? Precinct? Uh, Mockingbird Heights precinct. That's a local number. You may dial it direct, sir. <laughs> yes, but you see, I don't have the number. Local numbers are listed in your directory. But, miss, there is no directory here. You see, I'm locked in a... I'll connect you with information. <laughs> She's getting me information. I mean, information, but... Information. Could I have the number of the Mockingbird Heights police department, please? Number is one seven seven nine seven seven one. Thank you, Miss. One seven seven nine seven seven one. Write that down, Grandpa. I will. I don't seem to have anything to write it with. Herman, give me a pen. One seven seven nine seven seven one. One seven. It's empty. You wouldn't let me fill it. <laughs> fill it. You'll just have to remember it here. 
Right. Well, they'll want to know where we are. What's the address of this bank? I think it's 406 91st Street. 406 91st Street. 406 91st Street. I'll just keep that in my head. You got it? I got it. 406 91st Street. And the telephone number is 1779771. Right. <laughs> and Herman, when you get the police, they'll be here in five or ten minutes. If they go like 60, we'll have seven or eight of them down here in 20 winks. <laughs> and it'll be one, two, but my shoe, three, four, and they'll open the door. <laughs> 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 Herman, Herman, what are you waiting for, Herman? Dial a number. You made me forget it. <laughs> forget it all. This is ridiculous. Herman, give me that thing. One, two, buckle my shoe. <laughs> Listen, lady, this is an emergency. My friend and I are here, and we're locked in a bank vault together, and the walls are two feet thick, and we're running out of air. If you don't get somebody down here immediately, we'll both be dead. Listen, lady, please do something. I'd love to help you, sir, but this is a recording. <laughs> it's a recording? <laughs> Did you push? The light went on. Push to summon police. <laughs> Maybe we'll be rescued after all. <laughs> oh, Herman, before we know it, there'll be someone on the other side of the door trying to get in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Fingers, we're really throwing the cops off and hitting this place at night instead of in the daytime. Sure, Scotty, and I always felt like a goon wearing that Halloween mask. Well, I thought it was really becoming to you. There's the vault. Come on. Hey, hey, what a, what a break, Stan, what a break. Someone uh, disconnecting the, the, the burglar alarm. <laughs> and that front door's the easiest lock I ever picked. Yeah, this bank is sure asking for it. Listen, we gotta blow this vault, get the loot, and scram out of here. Yeah. Come on. Come on, start your drill. I'll hold the flashlight. Come on, let's get going. All right, let her rip. Grandpa, listen. Somebody's working on the door. It sounds like a big drill. We're being rescued. <laughs> a drill? Who wants to be rescued by a dentist? <laughs> okay, Scotty. There she is. Are you sure this job's gonna be worth it? Fingers. When we blow this door off, you just ain't gonna believe what's inside. <laughs> Light up. <laughs> Grandpa, it got quiet out there. You don't suppose they've given up? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Herman. They must have stopped to have a cigarette or something. Oh, I'm sure we'll be hearing a noise any minute now. <laughs> Hi. Herman, these are the ones who did it. I feel so good, I'm going to give him a big hug. <laughs> I think we better get out of here before somebody shows up. They don't look like police to me. <laughs>